what's up guys here's a quick tutorial on how to remove a fender on a jaguar jk this is this is a 1995 but i'm pretty sure the procedure is very similar if not the same for all of these body styles with those circular headlights which went i think all the way to like 2004 or 5 i thought it's it's pretty difficult so i just thought i'm gonna share it with you guys so first what do you want to start with when you take them take it off there's one two three and four bolts okay you need to remove all those four bolts there's no bolts under this so you don't have to take this out then you don't have any bolts over here which is stupid because all those bolts there's two of those bolts right in there in the very back of the fender which is really hard to get to and to do that you have to of course lift up the car take off your wheel there is an inner fender which is this plastic thing over there which is held by those clips hold by clips like that and they're all over here they go all the way covers right here go all the way around and hubs right here and there is this thing plugged into it once you finally take this off you have to of course lose the turn signal which you will just push out from there you have a little clip right here that you will have to press from the inside of the fender from the inside there and then uh, pull it out twist it and to undo it there's a little clip you just press this and oh, it should, should come out oh, and you pull it out put that turn signal on the side now this unlocked so you push this back inside there okay now another part you have to lose the bumper which is a number 14 right in there it's gonna be hard to see there's a bolt right there that looks just like this and this is a number 14 bolt and it's gonna go in there you have to lose this so you can pull the fender the i'm sorry the bumper a little bit lower and you have those two bolts that already took out this one and this one and they will get the fender loose from the bottom here which is already good so after you lose all of those bolts i'll have to take out this one and i'm gonna show you the uh oh okay and there's one more bolt right in here it's also a 10, they're all the same 10 millimeter bolts and it's right in there. I don't know how well you can see right there. And this is what holds this right here on the bottom. And we still have two more bolts that are on the inside there that I will take out in a second. All right guys, so I got the fender off. It was not easy, I'm telling you right now. Especially like my fender is bent right here. So I couldn't even put a wrench in there. I'm sure if your fender is not bent over there, it's gonna be much easier to do because you have to get to those two bolts right here and right here. Now you can see them better. They're right here and right here. There is another bolt right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's eight and nine. There's the two bolts. So there's nine 10 millimeter bolts total. There is right in here, right here. There is the bolt, the 14 millimeter that holds the bumper up like that. You will also need to take this out so you can lower it and take out this one because you can get to this one but you cannot get to that one so that's how you uh, take off the fender of course the uh, the installation is the opposite of the taking it off I mean you kind of can figure it out of course at that at the end you put those plastic pieces and this gasket at the very end also you have the inner fender that I'm telling you right now you're gonna not be happy about putting it back on because a lot of those clips they just get destroyed I mean I'll use as much as possible but I don't know how well it's gonna hold on and you kind of have to do it like have to put it back on because you have like the electric plugs right here you have to have this uh, water drain things okay you have those water drains that you also have to uh plug into that inner fender it has its own little spot in there to stay it in you have to plug those two in so the water doesn't drain on your electronics over here and you also have the water splashing on all the wires over here that go all around here so You'll have to do it, and it's not easy. I'm telling you that right now. It's a bitch. But here it is for you guys. That's how you undo the uh, undo the fender on the Jaguar XK. Hope you enjoy. If you do, give it a like. Stay tuned, and see you next time.